Chapter 97 I'll come back and kill you. Metropolis City, above the square of the Great Greatness Hall. Great Emperor Shu had left the gate, and with him, there was also a child in white robes in general, only with a hat, unable to see his face, short in stature, but it was Mr. Dongfang. The civil and military officials, at this moment, have long gathered at the entrance of the Great Yu Palace. Countless strong people in the city gushed up to the sky, wanting to enter that mirage-like Great Killing Palace, but none of them succeeded. Emperor Xu also probed his hand once, also grabbed an empty. It could be seen, but not touched. Your Majesty, our people saw that it was Gu Hai who opened the entrance. Yes, Your Majesty, Gu Hai definitely knows how to get in. A crowd of officials shouted eagerly, Your Majesty, the canine son went after Gu Hai. There should be news soon, King Shikong solemnly said. Hey, news! Your Majesty, Xiong went there to kill Gu Hai, right? Mo Yaika said indifferently, HM. King Shikong steeply looked at Mo Yaik with a raised eyebrow. Mo Yaik's face was grim as he nodded and stopped talking. Speaking of which, Gu Hai was kind to himself, but Mo Yaik didn't want Gu Hai to die. There was always a kind of discomfort in his heart. Emperor Xu, however, raised his head to the sky. Mr. Dongfang, can you still enter again? The childlike Mr. Dongfang shook his head. The information we have is too little. That blood prison blade came out, but it was an accident. Wanting to go in is not something that can be done overnight. Then you continue to set up the longevity formation. I need to go in. How long do you need? Emperor Xu looked at Mr. Dongfang. Not sure. It might take a long, long time. Mr. Dongfang shook his head. Great Emperor Xu's eyes narrowed. Hey, you're giving me your full assistance. Don't worry, Great Emperor Xu. I'm naturally going all out. It's just that this small world opened up by the Great Killing Heavenly Dynasty is not a small one. It seems to be virtual. You guys can't even begin to work on it. Only I can, isn't that right? These days, you have also tried in the Great Giant Temple. Isn't it still impossible? Mr. Dong Fang said indifferently. Great Emperor Xu frowned slightly, his face gloomy. Xu. Right at this moment, two figures flew in from the distance. However, it was the broken armed guard who had returned with Xu. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Father, Xiong said with a hint of agitation. Xiong, Great Emperor Xu's face sank, T looked at Xiong. Where is Gu Hai? Where is Gu Hai? King Shikong shouted at once. At this moment, Mr. Dong Fang held the crowd, facing the great killing palace in front of them. The crowd was at a loss. That ancient sea was able to find the entrance. Perhaps there was a way to enter. King Shikong was incomparably anxious. Obviously, also knew that his son had gone after Gu Hai. Gu Hai must not be all right. Dong, Mr. Dong Fang, you're still alive. Jiong was surprised to see Mr. Dongfang. Oh, the eighth is dead too, Mr. Dongfang said in a deep voice. Jiong's face changed. This wasn't that Mr. Dongfang. Where is Gu Hai? King Jiong droned once again. Gu Hai escaped. He killed my men and left. Left Metropolis, Jiong anxiously said. You went after Gu Hai, Mo Yaika said in a deep voice. No, no. Jiong, however, thought of earlier, and his heart palpitated. On the side, King Shikang saw Jiong's expression and guessed that Jiong had encountered something he was afraid of. But Jiong chased after Gu Hai, causing Gu Hai to leave and making the crowd lose the possibility of exploring the Great Killing Palace, which was ultimately a great sin. So King Shikong immediately covered for Jiong. Your Majesty, the great Qian envoys have gone out in full force. They must all be recaptured. King Shikong shouted at once. A full-scale exodus. It's not due to Jiong's pursuit. Qin Zibai, who was on the side, also said with a gloomy face. King Shikong immediately shouted. HMPH. What has it got to do with my son? Gu Hai fled. It was premeditated. 
didn't long when you send him away long ago. Don't tell me that you guys don't know. Chin Zibai frowned slightly. And you, Mo Yike. His Majesty asked you to receive the Great Chien Envoys, so that you could guard Long Wen Yu, yet you let her escape. And Gu Hai, you let him escape as well. This is all your duty. King Shikong looked at Mo Yaik and droned. All right, Great Emperor Xu said in a cold voice. King Shikong shut up at once. Jiong, where did Gu Hai go? Great Emperor Xu said in a deep voice. Ancient Sea left. There was eventually a direction, he could find the entrance. There might be something else he knew. I, I don't know, Xu said in shock. Don't know? Then what are you following Gu Hai for? Great Emperor Xu's tone turned chilly. In that moment, Jiong but his body was chilled all over. By this moment, Jiong finally understood that his majesty wanted to see Gu Hai, while he himself was the one who wanted to kill Gu Hai. If this was to let his majesty know, would he not be committing the great sin of disobedience? I, I, Jiong was in a state of panic. Swoosh. In the distance, another flying boat shot up. Gu Hai. It's Gu Hai. An official's eyes steeply lit up. Mr. Gu, Mo Yaika also revealed a look of surprise. King Shikong, and even the bat ancestor on the side, also looked at Gu Hai in surprise. Although the people didn't say it, but they knew in their hearts that Gu Hai had already fled R. Out of Metropolis R. How come he's here again? A large number of guards seemed to want to intercept Gu Hai. Who? Great Emperor Xu waved his hand. The guards in the surroundings immediately stepped aside. Gu Hai, you, how did you come back? Xiong looked at Gu Hai in shock, and as he spoke, he was still retreating behind Great Emperor Xu. Great Emperor Xu stepped at the head of the group of ministers and looked at the approaching Gu Hai. Gu Hai's face was grim at the moment as he looked towards Xiong. Who are you? The flying boat suddenly stopped in the air. Gu Hai jumped off the flying boat and landed on top of the square, probing his hand to collect the flying boat. After Xiong's initial panic, he looked at the crowd around him and instantly straightened his expression, seemingly unafraid. With Great Emperor Xu here, who can hurt me? Gu Hai, why did you come back? Xu once again asked dryly. This time, the tone was thicker and no longer fearful. I came back to kill you, Gu Hai said in a cold voice. Wow. The surrounding officials were steeply in an uproar. Jiong, however, was jolted and looked at Gu Hai with wide eyes. How could he? How could he dare to say that? The great Yuan monarchs and officials were all here. How could he dare to be arrogant enough to do so? Ha ha, ha 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 ha, really don't know how to die. The bat ancestor said with a grim expression on his face. Bat ancestor also had an old grudge against Gu Hai and was curious why Gu Hai had come back. But Gu Hai's sentence caused mockery to appear on bat ancestor's face. This Gu Hai was looking for death, right? In front of Emperor Xu, he said he wanted to kill Xiong. King Xiong's face also changed. Asshole. Gu Hai, what did you say? I said, I came back to kill your son, Jiong. Gu Hai still had a gloomy face and said, You, King Shikong's face changed. Mr. Gu, are you all right? Mo Yaika asked worriedly. How could Gu Hai dare to be so reckless? How dare he say anything nonsense? Chong Ming opened his mouth, not knowing what to say for a half a day, looked at the Xu Emperor aside then at Gu Hai, and silently recited you have guts in his heart. Qin Zibai, Chong Sheng and the others all frowned, not knowing what Gu Hai was up to. Great Qian Emissary, Gu Hai, Great Emperor Xu suddenly spoke in a deep voice. There was a coldness in his voice, as if he was counting out Gu Hai's recklessness. Gu Hai greets Great Emperor Xu. Gu Hai gave a slight salute. HM, Great Emperor Xu looked at Gu Hai, you said you wanted to kill Xiong. Yes, Gu Hai nodded. On the side, Xiong was trembling in his heart. What is he going to do? Gu Hai, is this looking for death? On the side, 
King Shi Kong's eyes were also covered with anger. Great Emperor Xu, are you worried about entering the Great Killing Palace? Gu Hai suddenly pointed to the sky. Oh, Great Emperor, Xu narrowed his eyes at Gu Hai. I have a spell that can connect the real to the virtual and connect to the Great Killing Imperial Palace, Gu Hai solemnly said. What kind of formation can connect the real to the imaginary? Humph, Gu Hai. Are you trying to deceive His Majesty? King Shi Kong immediately drank. Gu Hai, however, smiled coldly and said, Just because you don't understand it, doesn't mean others don't understand it too. He <laughs> he, using the truth to connect the dots. Joke, just with you, also set up this type of formation. Mr. Dong Fang revealed a cold smile and said, I can't arrange it. Can I set up old man chess viewers 30 heavens and earth vertical and horizontal formation? Gu Hai laughed. 30 heavenly earth vertical and horizontal grand formation. Mo Yoka on the side was steeply surprised. Lord Mo knows, a group of officials curiously said. Yes, I've heard of it. Old man chess viewers chess Dao formation, 28, 29, still founding the world. While at 30, it has already begun to perfect the world, the 30 heavens and earth vertical and horizontal grand formation. It's between the real and the imaginary, your majesty. Mo Yike looked towards Great Emperor Xu. Obviously, Mo Yike believed Gu Hai's words. Oh, Great Emperor Xu looked towards Gu Hai. The 30 heavens and earth vertical formation. Many people had never heard of it, but when Mo Yike opened his mouth, Great Emperor Xu believed Mo Yike. Gu Hai is not talented. He can set up a formation for Great Emperor Xu to facilitate all of you to enter the Great Killing Palace, Gu Hai solemnly said. How long will it take? Great Emperor Xu spoke in a deep voice. Mobilize the entire city to help me. Eight days, Gu Hai solemnly said. Eight days, just eight days. The officials revealed a look of surprise while Mr. Dong Fang on the side was grimly silent. As Mr. Dong Fang had previously said that he didn't know how long it would take, but Gu Hai was only asking for a short eight days. What is needed? Great Emperor Xu said in a deep voice. For one, 30 billion top grade spirit stones. Gu Hai opened his mouth. The officials opened their mouths. Opening their mouths was 30 billion upper grade spirit stones. Are you kidding? My great Yuan Dynasty's savings are more than that, but it's not like I can take out nearly half of this national treasury for an uncertain possibility for you. You really dare to ask for it. On the side, Mo Yika, however, nodded, Your Majesty, 29 heaven and earth vertical and horizontal grand formations. I have set up a small range, but each one of them costs 1 billion upper grade spirit stones. 30 heaven and earth vertical and horizontal grand formations. Mr. Gu has not misrepresented it. It will only be more, not less. Great Emperor Xu looked at Gu Hai and nodded. I will allow you 30 billion upper grade spirit stones. Gu Hai nodded. Mr. Gu, what else do you need? Mo Yike looked towards Gu Hai. At this moment, Mo Yike's heart was also extremely excited. The 29 heaven and earth vertical and horizontal grand formations had already benefited himself greatly. But he didn't want to think that Gu Hai actually knew the 30 heaven and earth vertical and horizontal grand formations as well. Even if he just observes it, he will also benefit a lot, right? Secondly, I want Xiong's head, Gu Hai said in a deep voice. Not far away, Xiong's hair has exploded all over his body.